Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales! And we are once more back in Feather Clan, which is really more of a nickname than an actual clan name. But we are here with Thimbleweed, Spot Ridge, Hope Paw, Brave Paw, Joy Paw, Annabelle, Thorn Kit, Crystal Kit, who I did not see hiding up here. I am so sorry. I, I upset so many of you last time by forgetting that Crystal Kit was hiding behind Spot Ridge. I think she's a little bit shy of Thimbleweed for some reason. And the newly arrived Mystery Cat, Dark. So we're going to have to get to the bottom about what she is doing here and what we think about her and her presence in the clan in just a moment. But first things first, with so many hungry kits and paws running around our camp, we need to feed everybody first thing in the morning. So squirrels count for three food. Let's go ahead and eat this squirrel and celebrate because this squirrel was actually provided to us by Brave Paw. Very good of him. Very good of him. And then that will feed the three paws at least. And now we need to feed Annabelle Thorn Kit and Crystal. So let's see, that's gonna need another three food. Uh, so we gotta eat both these birds. Okay, so there's three birds. If we eat one, that'll feed the two kits. If we eat two, that will feed Annabelle and Dark because the birds are worth two food each. And then the final bird can be one that Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge share together as they talk about the day and as they uh, discuss exactly what Spot Ridge thinks about the arrival of the new cat, Dark. So just what does he think about all of this? I don't know about this new cat, Dark. She claims to have been part of a group of alley cats in the Two Lake Village, but who knows if she's telling the truth. In any case, she can't hunt for crumbs. Her white pelt scares all the prey off, but we need more food. Hmm. All right, thank you, Spot Ridge. So it seems as though Spot Ridge is quite suspicious of Dark, as am I. And we're actually going to be uh, having to gather up a lot of food today. We have a ton of frogs. I'm not exactly sure when or where or how we got that many frogs, <laughs> but we have a lot of frogs, you guys. Uh, today we have rolled the random generators. We can hunt in all territories, and we have uh, rivals with all cats, though. So any clan we run into, we have have to do battle with, which does make me a little bit nervous because we do have the young apprentices with us today. Joypa has already gathered up all of the prey that she needed in order to prove herself as a warrior. So when the, you know, when Greenleaf rolls around, she will actually become a proper warrior and will gain her warrior name. Hope Paw just needs to do one more successful hunt and Brave Paw, who actually seems a little bit nervous hearing that the other clans are being really aggressive today and battling everyone. It seems as though he's hiding behind the tree. Come on, Brave Paw, there's no need for that. You don't need to be scared of anything. So, all right, let's go ahead and head out with these little ones. Let's heal them up because Hope Paw is still kind of hurt from her events of the battles from yesterday. And let's go ahead and heal her. Didn't heal her nearly as much as I was hoping. Darn it. All right, so we're going to drop that behind the tree and say that it's gone forever and ever and ever um, because we used up the healing herbs. And then let's go try to get some food. We ate up our squirrels. We have some mice. We have a whole bunch of frogs. I literally, I guess we were really spending a lot of time in Shadow Clan. Uh, but we're gonna just head out. And I think that Thimbleweed wants to try to have a more peaceful day with the paws. Look at them! Isn't this the most precious thing? Look at them follow him around. Isn't this just the cutest thing you have ever seen? All three of them lined up like this. It just makes my heart sing thinking about all of the beautiful fan art you guys have made. And Thimbleweed, he just must have tears in his eyes of pride and joy knowing that he has raised these kits so well. He has saved them from the evils of their father, Courage Fur. <gasps> Hope Pa! Yes! Huzzah! 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 Hope Pa just managed to get the very last piece of prey she needed oh I'm so proud of her I'm so proud of her and we're actually going to like die of thirst in a second here so we need to there we go let's gather everybody around and have a nice little refreshing drink from this moss real quickly but that's fantastic that squirrel actually represents um, the last piece of prey that Hope Paw actually needed to get in order to get her warrior name so she can become a warrior oh and then she chases a squirrel away she got a little too excited so she can now become a warrior with her sister Oh, and Joypa actually chased that squirrel away too. So maybe the squirrels are on to us here and we should move on. Oh, there's a squirrel. All right, come on, guys. You can do it. Come along, little apprentices. Ah, uh, almost. Okay. 
Well, we'll keep moving, but I find it very interesting that Brave Paw still has not quite managed to uh, to complete his task of gathering enough of the moss. And in fact, you know, I think Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge would say, or not gathering the moss, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was like trying to talk and collect up moss and make another little forest spot right here all at the same time. He needs to gather up some prey and prove himself as a warrior by being able to provide for his clan by collecting prey and he's been having a hard time doing that so he actually cannot get his warrior name till he successfully hunts two more times and then he will be able to claim his warrior name and stand alongside his sisters as warriors however i i don't know if he wants to be a warrior i i feel like brave paw is kind of enchanted look he's hanging back from everybody he has been kind of hiding from even the hunting today I think he's been listening to Annabelle talk about her life as a kitty pet, and he really may want to actually pursue that life instead. So we'll have to see how things go. Come on, Brave Paw. What about the mouse? Darn, they weren't able to get that either. All right, oh, here's another mouse. All right, come along, Brave Paw. You can do it. Oh, dang it, we didn't even manage that either. So, so I wonder if we ended up following Brave Paw uh, as a kitty pet. Oh, yay, Joy Paw got that one. But if we ended up following Brave Paw as a kitty pet, what exactly, uh, like, where would we do that? It would be interesting to maybe follow him as a kitty pet life with Ember, but it may also be interesting to follow him. <gasps> Wait, he just got the second one! Brave Paw, I'm so proud of you! I don't know if this means you still want a warrior's life, but he got a dead mouse. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Now, oh my gosh, there's multiple prey items. <gasps> okay, try again. You can do it, little buddy. Come on, last one, and then you can be like your sisters. Oh, we were so close, guys. All right, let's continue to try to have him hunt. This area seems full of birds. Maybe this is a good thing. Come on, Brave Paw, you can do it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what a fantastic, beautiful day in the beautiful New Leaf Meadows. Oh, I think that Thimbleweed would just be overjoyed. Whereas Apple Clan always seems to be like tossed in darkness and shadows. I, I feel like Thimbleweed... Uh, he and his clan really get to kind of embrace some of the kinder things in life, even though they're outcast from Wind Clan and they're hiding in exile and trying to raise and protect a bunch of kits. And I'm still not sure, my friends, exactly what we will do. Aw oh, man, Joy Paul, you spoiled that fight for uh, Brave Paw there. I'm still not exactly sure what we are going to do when it comes to Thimbleweed's future and Spot Ridge's future. I think it'd be really fun. Good job, Joy Paw. It'd be really fun if they could go around and they could actually collect up more kits in perhaps another game or perhaps just continuing here. And then the kits that they help raise could can continue on in other series. But I don't know, it'd be fun to maybe see Joy Paw as a fighter in Cattails or maybe see Hope Paw ending up in like The Sims 3. That could be kind of interesting too. So if you guys have ideas or suggestions, do let me know. All right, well, we have a whole bunch of mice. And then we've got one dead squirrel and it's getting pretty late. So let's go ahead and start heading back. All of our apprentices have now gained the required skills so that when we come around and when the, the day comes that we, oh, okay, well, I want to gather up that, but I can't right now. But they have all gathered up enough prey. They have theoretically won their fight against another warrior cat. It's kind of debatable if that fight that they were in with the Shadow Clan cat that ended up resulting in the Shadow Clan cat dying on Thunderpath. I don't know. Like, it's kind of debatable if we're going to want to count that. You know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead and sleep. As the uh, the apprentices having gained skills in fighting, but I don't think that Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge really want to put them in a position of danger again. So they would insist that the the cats were experienced enough to become warriors. So all right, wonderful. And Joy Paw looks like Hope Paw and Joy Paw are feeling better, and they are well rested after a very long day of wandering around. Everybody's health is looking good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I think that uh, Thimbleweed actually wants to go and take a little bit of a walk and maybe maybe he wants to go down by the river way and I think Hope Paw might ask to come with him but because the other two have already been 
great apprentices. They've already wandered all the territories, won a fight. They have already helped out when it comes to gathering prey. I think that Hope Paw would just follow them or follow Thimbleweed because she wants to do, come on, ah, dang it. I should have had him try to leap for it. Okay, let's try again. Did we get it? Yes! All right! Man, it's been a while since we've had Thimbleweed do the hunting. All right, so Hope Paw, I'm so excited. This means that next time she and her sister and brother are going to become warriors and they're going to need their warrior cat names. <gasps> That's so thrilling, even if you missed the bunny, Hope Paw. It's okay. And that is very thrilling, actually, because that's going to be quite a lot of fun to see them really become stronger. And I really want to see where their stories go. And as I was mentioning earlier, as time goes on, my friends, we will actually uh, wander all over the world with our curious cats. Here, let's make a little... This spot needs somewhere for us to get a drink. This spot needs somewhere for us to get a drink, too. So, ooh, hope pa, hope pa. Let's come over here and get the squirrel. Dang it, missed it. All right, any other squirrels? Not yet. But I like to have like somewhere where we can refresh our thirst at each and every spot because I think it's just more useful. All right, come on, come on. All right, fine. Let's try going down to the river, Hope Paw. Maybe that'll work. Um, but yes, I'm very interested. <gasps> Hope Paw, Hope Paw, no, Hope Paw, Hope Paw. Oh, fudge to the knuckles, Hope Paw, Hope Paw, Hope Paw, Hope Paw, come this way. Hope Paw, come this way. Where are you? Hope Paw, Hope Paw. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hopa! Hopa! Holy moly! Hopa! No! Hopa! 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 Brookford, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You are coming back to camp this instant! Hopa! Oh my goodness! Come along! Come along, child! <gasps> I can't believe that! We got caught up in an inter-clan rivalry fight and we couldn't run away because today the random generator said our rival was all of the cats, which meant we had to fight everybody there! Hopa! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Hopa! Oh my goodness! I- hang on! Okay, we're gonna use this. Oh my gosh! I can't believe that just happened! Are you- get over here! Rest! I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my gosh, out of my way. Where are more brambles? I am shoring up the defenses now. What on earth was that? Thickets, thickets everywhere. <laughs> I am not having this nonsense. Thickets, thickets, I demand more thickets. <laughs> Let me put my thickets down, darn it. No, 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 no. I want my thickets. All right, let's see if I can. Okay, come on, come on. Thimbleweed's like freaking out. He is, he's actually freaking out. Okay, come here, let's see. Where can I drop this thicket? Okay, this is the closest spot I can possibly drop thickets. And you can't drop thickets up here. So I need brambles. Somebody give me more brambles. <laughs> I am going to be protecting them. I can't believe that happened because the random generator rolled that our rival today was all of the cats. That meant that I couldn't, I, I couldn't run away from that fight and I can't believe Hope Paul lived. I literally thought those were her final moments. That was intense. We're like chewing through our fever few supply here, trying very, very hard to make sure. Come here, Hope Paw. All right, you hold still. Allow Spot Ridge. I imagine just Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed like curled up over here, her using every single trick they have in the book for like the herbs and everything that they learned from being medicine cat apprentices, or I should say Spot Ridge learned and Thimbleweed kind of like just stood around the place and like picked up a whole bunch of knowledge he was always like kind of pushing his way into their meetings but i can't believe we survived that i thought we were dead and thimbleweed is not a leader so he would die if he if he dies he's dead dead and i, I spot ridge i don't know who like that was just oh my gosh that was intense all right i feel like that didn't even do anything to her health hang in there hope paw Oh my gosh, and tomorrow's supposed to be the day that she becomes a warrior and we need to go to the to the the moonstone. Well, we can't as rogues, but I was going to at least take them to where the gatherings are held. Oh my goodness, and I just oh my gosh. Okay, Hope Paw, come here. All right. Well, talk about drama. And again, we're chewing through our herbs. Let me go ahead and just make sure she's close enough to us that this works. We're chewing through all of the the herbs, trying to make sure that she's healed up enough 
to survive because that was intense is she going to survive the journey to becoming a warrior we have to go to the, the the meeting place the four trees in order to be able to like make them warriors is what i was going to do but is she going to survive the trip i imagine she would fight us like very very aggressively if we tried to keep her from from wandering or if we tried to keep her from making that journey and and taking her rightful warrior name but i just can't believe this okay there we go healed her up again which cost us another herb but that is intense Whew. we'll have to see how much experience we gain from that battle too but i know my heart is pounding like a drum right now and if everybody survives then next time here with Feather Clan, we will be promoting Joy Paw, Brave Paw, and Hope Paw to warriors, and we'll have to talk about what will happen to their futures after that next time, too. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye bye!